Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Mike Reviews It All. On this episode, I'll be breaking down the hypothetical matchup of George St. Pierre versus Anderson the Spider Silva. Um, this fight was rumored to take place for years now, five to seven years, um, when they were both champions of their own respective weight classes. Uh, George St. Pierre was dominating the welterweight division with uh, at 170 with... Uh, Anderson dominating the middleweight 185 division for for a very long time. They're both champions for Ridiculous amount of time. Uh, Anderson actually for Almost seven years. It's like 2400 and some days. I was just reading um, So they both have two fights ahead of them um, Anderson Silva first like I said, he's 41 years old and uh there's no gimme here. He's fighting Kevin or Kelvin Gastelum. And for those of you who don't know who Kelvin Gastelum is, um, not only in the last two fights did he beat Johnny Hendricks, um, the last guy that George St. Pierre fought, and a lot of people thought he lost that fight. Um, he followed that up with knocking out Vitor Belfort uh, very spectacularly. Um, actually a, a dominant performance that was amazing in Brazil in front of the entire crowd in Brazil uh, shocked them they love Vitor there might have been the end of Vitor's career so that's a huge if that Anderson gets past Kelvin Gastelum um, he's much younger I said Anderson's 41 years old now um, he might not take punches the way he used to, but he, you know, he's a big experienced guy. So this, uh, I call this almost an even match. Um, just part of me just wants to give Anderson kind of an, an edge just because of the experience, but it's going to be a very tough matchup. Um, George St. Pierre jumps right into a title shot. Uh, he was holding out and when he came back. I don't know what he said to Dana or what he said to the UFC. Obviously, they wanted him back. Um, he's going to fight Michael Bisbing, which seems like no disrespect to Michael Bisbing. But, I mean, he he won the fight because the champion he was fighting disrespected him. Um, he put his chin out there, was being cocky, and Bisbing caught him. Bisbing would have never won that match, would have never won the championship. Um, now against George St. Pierre, he's going to be a bigger, stronger guy. As far as he's going to have a reach advantage. Um, he's probably a better striker. Um, we really haven't seen a lot of George St. Pierre striking in a long time. He was so dominant with his wrestling, even in the years before he left. Um, there was some striking... Um, in the match, in the match with Johnny Hendricks, and uh, the match with Carlos Condit, uh, that was that was a war on the feet, and he won both those fights because of his wrestling. And like I said, the Johnny Hendricks fight was very contested. Um, Michael Bisbing should have lost to Anderson Silva uh, when they actually fought. I think it was about a year ago on UFC Fight Pass. So if you didn't know that they fought or wondered why you didn't catch that fight, get UFC F Fight Pass, cheap bastard. It's only $10 a month. Um, <laughs> so yeah, he, he knocked him out. Anderson Silva actually knocked him out. Uh, knocked out Michael Bisping at the end of the second round. Really knocked him out. Uh, he was like completely out twice in the fight um i thought one you know at least one if not two 10 eight rounds um i gave him three of the five rounds and surprise it was in london in england and somehow biz being weasels out of there again with a decision before you know it he's fighting tim kennedy for the championship And he's got a belt around his waist, and he's talking a bunch of shit. Um, 
the Bisping fight, I don't know. I or the George St. Pierre fight. I'm sorry, I don't know. I gotta give George St. Pierre I think a little bit of an advantage because wrestling is so strong, but Bisping is so much bigger. He is he is a lot bigger and Pierre's been out for a long time. Um, he's so good at game planning, though. So good at game planning. And his wrestling is so good. Um, I got to favor George St. Pierre, so I think he walks through that one. And like I said, I favor Anderson, even though it's going to be a war against Kelvin Gastelum. Um, if I had to put money on each of these fights, I say they each win their fight. So GSP will be champion, would be champion, if he wins, Anderson Silva is fighting Kelvin Gastelum for the interim championship. So if these guys each win their matches, um, it's set up to have a super fight. Uh, the fight that we should have had before. Now, how does this play out? Remember the Chell Sonnen fight with Anderson Silva? Remember how much how many problems Anderson Silva had with this wrestling. Um, he's had problems with a lot of wrestlers. Um, struggled mightily with Travis Luter, which nobody really expected. Um, his last fight, he uh, lost to Daniel Cormier, a great wrestler. I wouldn't really count that. He took the fight on like two weeks notice. Might have been less after John Jones got popped. And... Uh, was fighting in a weight class above his. Um, Cormier is just a beast, and he'd been he'd had a full training camp, so you can't really count that fight, even though he had a couple good moments. Um, it's gonna all come down to, I believe, is George Saint Pierre big enough and strong enough to take Anderson Silva down, and then keep him there. Um, is te or is technique going to be enough? I, I'm i not sure. I'm not sure that Anderson Silva doesn't muscle his way out of these takedowns or muscle his way up to his feet. He definitely has a huge reach advantage. Um, his striking is phenomenal. Um, light years beyond Jade Sir, P George St. Pierre. Uh, George St. Pierre used to have really good striking. He stopped using it after he got caught several times. Um, by uh, Matt Serra, he re after he got knocked out by Matt Serra, he really, really doubled up on his wrestling, and then he was scared again by Carlos Condit, and uh, we really didn't see him strike near as much after after that. Um, so I I got a favor Anderson Silva um, in a five round fight. I think George Saint Pierre maybe takes him down a couple times. Um, I think An Anderson's going to get to his feet, though, and I think he's going to hit George, and I don't think I don't think George is going to be able to last in the deep waters. I think Anderson takes out GSP at, towards the end of the third round or beginning in the middle of the fourth round. I don't see this fight going to a fifth round. So, guys, you heard it here first. GSP and Anderson Silva are going to fight in a super fight. First thing that's going to happen is Anderson Silva is going to fight Kelvin Gastelum for the Inner Championship, which he wins. George St. Pierre will beat Michael Bisbing for the belt. Then the two will fight in a much anticipated super fight, which Anderson Silva will win by knockout in either the third or the fourth round. Uh, so watch this after the fight and uh, after the fights and we'll see how right or wrong I was. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers this year. Um, channel's only five days old, but I'm, I really want to have a thousand subscribers at least by the end of this year. I'm trying to quit my job here. Help me out here, guys. Anyways, like my video. Um, Please tune into some other videos if you like that. Please comment below. Um, tell me what you think. Tell me who you think is going to win these fights. Tell me if you think I'm full of crap. I've been watching fights for a long time, but I'm, I'm wrong a lot. So give me your thoughts, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video. Um, and I'll see you next time. You guys have a good week. Take care.